day students, for today we are going to discuss how to convert units. We will start first with converting units in the metric system and then afterwards we are going to discuss how to convert from metric system to English system and vice versa. Before anything else, let us first familiarize ourselves with the prefixes used in the metric system. Kilo, hecto, deca, the basic unit, which are meters, liter, and gram, deci, centi, and milli. You also have to be familiarized sa mga letters na nagkakorespond sa bawat prefixes. So for kilo, that is K. For hecto, that is H. For deca, that is DA. For deci, that is D. For centi, that is e, A, C. And for milli, that is M. So let us first have a practice. Write the correct abbreviation for each metric unit. So for kilogram, pagkasamahin mo lang yung letter kay kilo which is K and then kay gram which is G. So kilogram is kg. Centimeter is cm. Gram, since you did not use any prefixes, that is simply G. Meter, that is M. Liter, that is L. Millimeter, that is ML. Decaliter, that is DAL. So, don't be confused with deca and deci. Kapag deci, letter D. Kapag deca, it's DA. Milligram, that is MG. Hectometer is HM. And centigram is CG. So, let us now start discussing how to convert units in metric system. So, again, dapat memorize na to. Kilo, hecto, deca, basic unit, deci, centi, and milli. So, paano ba tayo nagko-convert? First, you have to determine your starting point, and the starting point is always the decimal point. Kapag wala kayo nakikita ang decimal point, automatic, ayun, ay nasa um, right ng last digit ng number. And then you count how many jumps papunta sa ending point. Now, paano malalaman yung direction ng jump? If you are converting to a smaller unit, for example, from kilo going to deca, you simply move the decimal point going to the right or multiply sa corresponding values niya. Kapag naman kayo ay mag uh, magko-convert ng to a larger unit, for example, from milli, going to kilo, you're going to move the decimal point going to the left or you're going to divide the corresponding value. So since medyo confusing yung pag-divide and pag-multiply, ang gagawin natin ay movement, moving of the decimal point. So let us have first, uh, our first example, 5.23 kilometers co-convert sa meters. So first, you have to determine the starting point, and the starting point is kilometers. And then the ending point is meters. So from kilometers going to meter, and meter is a basic unit, let us count how many jumps. 1, 2, 3. So we jump uh, 3 times going to the right, since we are uh, converting uh, to a smaller unit. So therefore, 5.23 kilometers, we're going to move the decimal point on the same direction, and that is going to the right. So, 1, 2, and 3. Since uh, we don't have any digits anymore, we put 0 doon sa, digit, uh, doon sa decimal place na wala. Always remember, 1 decimal place corresponds to 1, 0. So, therefore, 5.23 kilometers is equal to 5,000 213 meters. Let's have our next example. So we have 42.11 milliliters uh, to be converted to liters. The starting point is milliliters and the ending point is liters. So let's count how many jumps papunta kay liters. 1, 2, 3. So 3 jumps then. But this time, going to the left side because we are converting to a larger unit. 
So if we have 42.11 milliliters, we have to move the decimal point going to the left. So let's count. 1, 2, 3. Now, we are missing again one decimal place. So wala tayong malalagay na digits dyan. Therefore, ang ilalagay natin ay 0. So that is 0 0.04211 liters. Or, since in writing numbers, hindi naman pwede or it is somehow confusing kapag decimal point agad, so we put 0 there. But 0 0.04211 liters is just the same with 0 0.04211 liters. So don't be confused. Ang talagang inad natin na 0 dyan sa conversion ay yung 0 sa right and decimal point. Yung nilagay natin 0 to the left ng decimal point ay ginawa natin dahil that is the proper way of writing numbers. Okay, let's have our third example. Let us convert 15.6 decigram to kilogram. So the starting point is decigram, the ending point is kilogram. So let's count from decigram. 1, 2, 3, 4. So we're going to move 4 units going to the left. So if we have 15.6 decigram, so let us move 1, 2, 3, 4. So we need, uh, we, we are lacking uh, digits for 2 decimal places. We're going to put 2 zeros. So 15.6 decigram is equal to 0 0.00156 kilogram or you may add 0 on the left side. 0 0.00156 kilogram. Okay, let's have now a practice. So, i-convert natin yung mga sumusunod. So, kilo, hecto, deca, the basic unit, deci, centi, and milli. So, let us now convert uh, 12.5 kilometers to meters. So, from kilometers, going to meter, 1, 2, Three. So, we're going to move three decimal places going to the um, right. The answer will be 12,500 uh, 12, meters. Next, 45 hectometer to decimeter. So, let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, we're going to move four decimal places going to the right. The answer is 45,000 decimeter. Next, 50,000 millimeter going to decameter. So, from millimeter, let us count. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, we're going to move the decimal, uh, the decimal point 4 places going to the left. So, the answer will be 5. Since the decimal point ay nasa uh, right side ng kanyang uh, last digit, so, pag minub natin yan, the answer will be 5. So, let us continue with the others. You may pause the video and then sagutan nyo and then we will check. Okay, let us now check your answers. 230 decagram is equal to 23,000 centigram. 81.5 centigram is equal to 815 milligram. 12.5 Centiliter is equal to 125 milliliters. 45 liters is equal to 450 deciliters. 50,000 gram is equal to 50 kilogram. 230 centigram is equal to 0 0.23 decagram. And the last one, 81.5 meter is equal to 815 decimeter. So as you can see, napakadali mag-convert ng unit sa metric system. That's why it is preferred na system, it is more preferred than the English system. So let us now uh, discuss how to convert English system to metric system and vice versa. So ito medyo mahirap kasi hindi, des hindi lang tayo basta na mag nag-move ng decimal point. Tayo ay nag-multiply or nag-divide ng converting factors. So, ito muna yung rule. When we are converting measurement in English to metric, 
Dahil at madalas naman, ang kinoconvert natin talaga ay English to metric, we simply multiply the given with the converting factor in the metric system. So, minumultiply natin yung converting factor. Okay, on the other hand, to convert metric system to the English system, we divide. So, medyo uh, mali, mali lang yung nasa notes. Dapat yan ay from metric system going to the English system. So, para hindi kayo malito, gumawa ako ng arrow dito. Ayan. So, English to metric, we multiply. Metric to English, we divide. So, sir, ano po yung mga converting factors? Ito yung mga converting factors natin. So, kaya kailangan pa magko-convert kayo ng English to metric and vice versa, you know the converting factor. So, sometimes siya ay given, sometimes naman you have to memorize. So, let us have first uh, the given 16 pounds to be converted to kilogram. So, pounds is in English going to metric, so we simply multiply. The converting factor is 0. 45. So, ganoon lang kadali. Dapat alam mo yung converting factor, alam mo kung multiply or divide. So, let's have number 2. 3 gallons to liters. So, gallons to liters is English to metric. So, we multiply. Then, we look for the converting factor. Ano ang converting factor ng gallon to liters? That is 3.78. Therefore, we multiply. So, 3 times 3.78, the answer is 11.34 liters. Next, convert miles to kilometer. Again, that is English to metric. So, again, we multiply. So, 8.7 times what is the converting factor of miles going to kilometers? It's 1.6. So, multiply by 1.6. The answer is 13.92 kilometers. So, 13.5 yards to meters. That is Again, metric, uh, English to metric, the converting factor of yards to meter is 0 0.91. So, multiply. The answer is, uh, multiply 13.5 by 0.91. The answer is 12.285. So, ounce to gram, that is English to metric. Again, we multiply. The converting factor is 28.35 uh, 28.35, so when we multiply, the answer is 326.025. Okay, feet to meters. Again, English to metric, we multiply. So the converting factor is 0 0.3. The, ans uh, the answer will be 4.92. Next. Okay, ito na. So, kilogram to pounds. So that is metric to English, therefore we're going to divide. So, Ano ba ang converting factor ng kilograms or sorry pounds to kilogram? 0.45. So therefore, we will divide 10 by 0.45. The answer is 22.22. Next. Okay, here, uh, hindi naman sa necessary talaga na converting English to metric. Pero since sa conversion table siya, i-discuss na natin. So how do we convert uh, degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit? Okay, sundan nyo lang yung process na to. We simply multiply the given kapag parent uh, Celsius to parent height, i-multiply natin yung degree Celsius ng 9, then divided by 5, plus 32. Or kung gusto nyo, i-multiply nyo mismo yung fraction na 9 over 5 kay degree Celsius, then yung answer plus 32. On the other hand, Pag i-convert naman natin yung parent height to Celsius, ang una natin gagawin ay ito. Mag-minus ka muna ng 32 kay parent height, and then yung answer doon, times 5 divided by 9, or uh, my, uh, degrees parent height minus 32 times the fraction 5 per 9. So in our given, we have degrees parent height converted to Celsius, Therefore, ang formula gagamitin natin ay ito. So, let us see. So, that will be 5 over 9 times the difference of 75 and 32. So, if you're going to use your calculator or compute manually, the answer will be 23.8 uh, degrees 
Celsius. Next, we are going to convert uh, 16 square kilometers to acres. So the converting factor is 0 0.004 since that is from uh, metric to English we divide. So the answer will be 4,000. And the last one, uh, 295.7 milliliters convert to ounce. So again, that is metric to English. So we divide and we look for the converting factor, which is 29.27. So when we divide 295.7 by 29.27, the answer will be 10 ounce. So uh, remember, Kapag wala sa conversion table yung kinakailangan mo, uh, you have to convert multiple times. For example, you want to convert uh, inches to kilometers. So una, i-convert mo muna yung inches sa centimeter, tapos yung centimeter, i-convert mo naman kay kilometers. So that is the end. I hope you learned something. Good luck sa inyong mga modules at worksheet.